Hey everybody. So this week we're going to touch back on you guessed it. Instruments. I love talking about instruments you guys. So that's what we're going to talk about. Instruments, okay? Before any of that happens, hey, how are you guys? I hope y'all are doing good. Um I know this is kind of weird cuz we're not going back to school. Um so yeah, I hope everything's okay. I hope y'all are doing your schoolwork, but also having fun. I hope just that everything's good. Okay? Um, but back to instruments. So we're going to start with our lovely woodwinds. Okay? Woodwinds. Okay, so woodwind instruments are called woodwinds because they were originally made out of wood. Okay, so they were originally made out of wood. So that's why they are called woodwinds. Okay, so um, the first woodwind we're going to talk about is a flute. Okay, a flute. That's the one that you play to the side like this. Okay. So, um, the flute is very high pitched. You have to make sure all of your fingerings are all of your fingers are covering all of the holes, okay? And then you blow into it because it stays on your lip like this. And you blow and you go like that. Like, oops, it goes like that, okay? That's how you blow into a flute, okay? But that's how you also blow into a piccolo. Piccolo, a piccolo. Okay, so that's how you go to a piccolo. Okay, so piccolo. Okay, piccolo. Okay, so a piccolo is just a smaller version of a flute. That's all it is. It's just a little bit smaller, um, just a little bit smaller than the flute, and it plays higher than a flute. So it's piccolo, then a flute. You still play it to the side like, play it to the side like this, but it's smaller. Instead of longer with the flute, it's like this. The piccolo, it's like this, and you still play it the same. Okay, so flute and piccolo, they're kind of the same. It's just one is smaller and higher. Then you move to the next instrument, which is clarinet. The clarinet, you know, everybody knows what the clarinet is, okay? If everybody watches SpongeBob, you know that the instrument that Squidward plays is a clarinet, okay? So the clarinet is what we call a reeded instrument. So reeded instruments are instruments that use this wooden reed that um, needs moisture in order to play. So um, what happens is while they're putting their instruments together, they usually have a reed underneath their tongue to get that moisture so that they can continue to play their instrument correctly with their reed, okay? Um, so clarinet, oboe, bass clarinet, and the bassoon all have reeds and also saxophones. Saxophones have reeds as well. Um, but the clarinet, bass clarinet, and the saxophone all use the same type of reed, and the oboe and the bassoon use the same type of reed as well, okay? So now we're, oh, the clarinets played downwards instead of to the side, so it's played downwards, just like the oboe. The oboe is spelled just like that. So the oboe is also played downwards, but it sounds a little weirder. Um, let's see if I can look up a picture of an oboe so that you can see. Oboe. So um, an oboe looks like this. This is what an oboe looks like. Okay, you see it doesn't, it looks kind of like a clarinet but it has just a little reed at the top instead of it being a big reed 
and a mouthpiece like the clarinet. Um, and then we move to our bigger instruments. So um, our bigger woodwind instruments, um, we're only going to talk about two of them, but they're the big ones. So the first one we're going to talk about is the bass clarinet. Okay, so remember we talked about um, treble clef and bass clef and how bass clef is the low, are the low notes. So it's the bass clarinet, which means it plays low notes. So you have bass, bass clarinet, okay? Remember I told you the bass clarinet's really big and it goes like boom. It was like woom and then woom, okay? So, looks kind of weird. I'll show you a picture of it. But it plays the low notes, those are the low notes. And it uses the same reed as a clarinet, okay? The same exact reed, okay? So this is what, ooh, let's focus. This is what a bass clarinet looks like. You see how big it is? Yeah, it's big. Yes, I know my phone is dying. We're not going to talk about it. So uh, this is what a bass clarinet looks like, okay? So now we're going to move to the bassoon, okay? I'm also going to spell it for you so you can see what it's spelled like. Okay? Um, if you know how to spell monsoon, I think it's spelled the same way. That was very random. I know. Y'all already know how I am. Um, but it's also a very big instrument. See, it's very, it barely fits on my screen, okay? Um, so it's a very big instrument, okay? So like, um, they have to play it to the side, just like a bass clarinet, you have to play a bass, bass clarinet to the side. Um, so remember the bassoon and the oboe, um, use the same reed, and the bass clarinet and the clarinet use the same reed. So bassoon and oboe use one type of reed, bass clarinet and the regular clarinet use a different type of reed, okay? Okay, so now we're going to talk about brass instruments. So we're going to start with the instrument that everybody knows when it comes to brass instruments, and that is the trumpet okay trumpet so brass brass instruments are different than woodwind instruments because woodwind instruments have all of these different keys correct brass instruments don't they have three valve keys okay valves and the valves change the direction in which the air flows through the instrument um with clarinet and the flute, they all go through one tube. It's just when you press the button, it kind of changes how the airflow comes out, whereas the valve changes the direction because there's so many different tubes connected to a brass instrument, right? So, the trumpet. The trumpet's very easy. It looks, um, looks like this. This is a trumpet, and those are its valves, okay? And that's the mouthpiece. So it has a different mouthpiece as well from woodwinds. So woodwinds have the reed, or um, with the flute, you blow into it like, right? Um, the mouthpiece, it goes around your lips, okay? And instead of blowing like, you gotta go like that. Like that, okay? Yeah, it's really weird, I know, but I played a brass instrument, I played the French horn, so I understand how it works. So, um, that's the trumpet. A trumpet is a higher playing instrument, okay? So, after the trumpet, we're gonna move to my instrument, which is the French horn, okay? So, the French horn is an odd looking instrument, I will have to admit. It um, is just like a trumpet. It has um, the three valve keys that changes the direction of everything. Um, and it has a bell just like the trumpet does, but the bell is bigger. 
okay? And a French horn is played to the side, kind of, because it's a kind of a big instrument. This is a French horn, okay? See, it has all those tubes and things, and here you see how big the bell is. So, um, the French horn is a um, medium um, playing instrument. So, um, it plays high notes, but it also plays low notes, and it plays very beautiful. It's a very beautiful um, instrument played. So, when we think about it compared to, like, woodwind instruments, the trumpets are kind of like the flutes, um, and like French horns are kind of like clarinets and saxophones. It's kind of what they're like, okay? So um, the next brass instrument is the trombone, okay? Trombone. This one unlike all of the other brass instruments, it does not have any valve keys. It has a slide. Okay, so it slides. Um, it looks pretty cool. It looks like this. It's also a big instrument. Okay. And it slides. So you're sliding it. It's going boom, 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 boom. Okay? So... That's what it does. That's also what I would consider a medium instrument, but um, brass and woodwinds are um, separated into like high brass and low brass or high woodwinds and low woodwinds. So a trombone would be considered a low brass instead of a high brass, whereas trumpets and French horns are high brass. A trombone would be considered a low brass instrument. So it plays low, but the slow sound sounds really good, so that's why. Um, our last brass instrument is going to be the tuba, okay? So the tuba is that really, really, really big brass instrument that you see. Like when you see it in the bands, it has that big old circle. That's called a sousaphone, but it's, it's basically like a tuba. Um, so the tuba is really, really, really low, okay? So this is the tuba, okay? And this does have valves, okay? Like I said, the uh, trombone is the only one that doesn't have valves. It has a slide. But the tuba has valves. It has three valves, and you have to wrap your arm around and it's a lot, but tuba is really big. So tuba is also considered a low brass. So um, yeah, those are all of your brass instruments. So now we're going to just um, separate them into high woodwind, low woodwind, high brass, and low brass. So our high woodwinds are our flutes, clarinets, and our piccolos. Those are your high woodwinds. Your low woodwinds would be the bassoon and the bass clarinet. We have not talked about saxophones, but there is a soprano saxophone and an alto saxophone, so that would go into high um, woodwinds. And then you have a tenor saxophone would be considered a low woodwind. And then we have our brass instruments, so our high brass would be our trumpets and our French horns. And then your low brass would be your trombones and your tubas, okay? So what I want y'all to do is to look up these different instruments and listen to what each one of them sounds like, okay? And um, I want you to find a song that features these instruments. Now, no, you will not usually find these instruments in an in NBA Youngboy song or an NLE Choppa song, you're not gonna find them in there. The best place to find them is in Disney songs, okay? Sorry, had to say it, it's a Disney song. Um, like I said, I used to play French horn back in high school, middle school and high school. So when my sister, who I told y'all is young, she's seven, when she watches Disney movies and I listen to like the opening songs of Disney movies, I can hear like a French horn, and I can hear trumpets and the tubas and things like that. So I say like finding 
just tell me what movie you watched, what Disney movie you watched, and what instruments you heard. Okay? That's all I ask. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you continue to watch these videos. I hope y'all have a great west rest of your week. And I do hope to see you at some point. Bye.